Picture this morning scenario. You're sitting down to what you believe is the perfect healthy breakfast, a steaming bowl of oatmeal topped with berries, nuts, and a drizzle of honey. You feel virtuous knowing you're starting your day with whole grains, fiber, and antioxidants. Health experts have told you for decades that oatmeal is heart healthy, metabolism boosting, and the ideal way to fuel your morning. But what if everything you've been told about this superfood breakfast is masking a more complex metabolic reality? What if the way most people prepare and consume oatmeal is actually working against their weight loss goals, disrupting their blood sugar balance, and potentially slowing down the very metabolism they're trying to boost? Today, we're going to uncover the hidden metabolic pitfalls of oatmeal that even nutritionists often overlook. You'll discover why timing matters more than you think, how popular oatmeal preparations can spike insulin levels for hours, and why certain people should reconsider this breakfast staple entirely. But here's what's particularly concerning. The oatmeal industry, and even some health professionals, have created an oversimplified narrative that ignores individual metabolic differences and preparation methods that can turn this potentially healthy food into a metabolic obstacle. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly when oatmeal becomes problematic, how to identify if it's affecting your metabolism negatively, and what alternatives might work better for your unique physiology. The Oatmeal Health Halo Let's start by acknowledging that oatmeal does have legitimate health benefits. It contains beta-glucan, a soluble fiber that can help lower cholesterol. It provides some protein, B vitamins, and minerals. For many people, plain oatmeal prepared properly can be part of a healthy diet. However, the health halo around oatmeal has created some problematic assumptions. The breakfast industry has positioned oatmeal as universally healthy, regardless of how it's prepared, what's added to it, or who's consuming it. This one-size-fits-all approach ignores important metabolic realities. The marketing transformation. Over the past few decades, oatmeal has been transformed from a simple, plain grain into a heavily marketed superfood. Instant oatmeal packets loaded with sugar, flavored varieties with artificial ingredients, and restaurant oatmeal bowls with massive portions and sweet toppings have become the norm rather than the exception. The average commercially prepared oatmeal now contains as much sugar as a dessert yet it's still perceived and marketed as a healthy breakfast choice. This disconnect between perception and reality is where metabolic problems begin. The blood sugar roller coaster. The biggest metabolic issue with oatmeal isn't the oats themselves. It's how modern preparation methods and additions create significant blood sugar spikes that can disrupt your metabolism for hours. The carbohydrate load problem. Even plain oatmeal is primarily composed of carbohydrates. A typical serving contains 25 to 30 grams of carbs, which convert to glucose in your bloodstream. For people with insulin sensitivity issues, prediabetes, or those trying to maintain stable blood sugar for weight management, this carbohydrate load first thing in the morning can be problematic. Research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people consuming high-carbohydrate breakfasts, including oatmeal, showed significantly higher glucose and insulin responses compared to those eating protein-rich or lower carb alternatives. These spikes weren't just temporary, they affected appetite regulation and energy levels throughout the day. The insulin response cascade. When you eat carbohydrate rich foods like oatmeal, your pancreas releases insulin to help cells absorb the glucose. However, when insulin levels are elevated, fat burning essentially stops. Your body prioritizes using the incoming glucose for energy instead of accessing stored fat. For people trying to lose weight or improve their metabolic health, starting the day with a significant insulin spike can shut down fat burning for three to four hours or more. This is particularly problematic for those practicing intermittent fasting or trying to maintain a fat burning metabolic state. The morning vulnerability. Your body's insulin sensitivity naturally varies throughout the day, with many people being most insulin resistant in the morning due to cortisol patterns and overnight fasting. This means that carbohydrate-rich foods consumed at breakfast can have more dramatic blood sugar effects than the same foods eaten later in the day. A study from the University of Alabama found that people who ate identical meals showed 20 to 30% higher glucose responses when consumed in the morning versus afternoon or evening. This suggests that oatmeal's metabolic impact may be magnified specifically when eaten as breakfast. The portion distortion problem. Restaurant and packaged oatmeal servings have grown dramatically over the years, often containing two to three times what would be considered a normal portion. Restaurant oatmeal realities. A typical restaurant oatmeal bowl can contain one to two cups of prepared oats, plus dried fruits, nuts, seeds, and sweeteners. The total caloric content often exceeds 600 to 800 calories, with 80 to 100 grams of carbohydrates. 
This is more carbohydrates than many people should consume in an entire day for optimal metabolic health. Chain restaurant oatmeal bowls frequently contain two to three servings of oats, 60 to 90 grams carbs from oats alone, dried fruits adding 20 to 30 grams additional sugars, honey, maple syrup, or brown sugar, 15 to 25 grams added sugars, high calorie toppings like granola or nuts. The result is a meal that can spike blood sugar as dramatically as eating candy, despite being perceived as healthy. Instant oatmeal packets. Flavored instant oatmeal packets are particularly problematic for metabolism. They typically contain processed oats with higher glycemic impact, 10 to 15 grams of added sugars per packet, artificial flavors and preservatives, refined ingredients that digest quickly. Many people eat two to three packets for breakfast, multiplying these effects. The convenience factor has led to overconsumption of what's essentially processed food masquerading as health food, the glycemic index misconception. Oatmeal is often promoted as having a moderate glycemic index, but this classification can be misleading and doesn't tell the whole metabolic story. Processing changes everything. The glycemic index of oats varies dramatically based on processing. Steel cut oats, GI of approximately 42, lower, old fashioned, rolled oats, GI of approximately 55, moderate, quick cooking oats, GI of approximately 66, Yosh high instant oatmeal, GI of 79 plus very high. Most people consume quick cooking or instant varieties for convenience, unknowingly choosing options that spike blood sugar more dramatically than whole grain bread. The glycemic load. Reality glycemic index only tells part of the story. Glycemic load accounts for both the quality and quantity of carbohydrates. A large serving of even low glycemic oats can create a high glycemic load that significantly impacts blood sugar. A typical restaurant oatmeal serving has a glycemic load of 25 to 35, which is considered high and comparable to eating white rice or refined cereal. Individual metabolic responses. Perhaps the biggest oversight in oatmeal recommendations is the assumption that everyone responds to carbohydrates the same way. Metabolic individuality means that foods affecting one person minimally might significantly impact another. Insulin sensitivity variations. Research shows that insulin sensitivity can vary by five to 10 fold between individuals. People with lower insulin sensitivity will have more dramatic blood sugar and insulin responses to the same oatmeal serving compared to those with high sensitivity. Factors affecting insulin sensitivity include genetics and family history, body composition, and fat distribution, physical activity levels, sleep quality and stress levels, age and hormonal status, previous dietary patterns, the continuous glucose monitor. Reality studies using continuous glucose monitors reveal dramatic individual differences in oatmeal responses. Some people show minimal blood sugar elevation, while others experience spikes to 160 to 180 milligrams per deciliter or higher, levels associated with diabetes risk. Doctor David Sinclair's research team found that identical twins eating identical oatmeal breakfasts could have completely different glucose responses, highlighting the importance of individual metabolic testing rather than universal dietary recommendations. Who should reconsider oatmeal? Certain populations face higher risks from regular oatmeal consumption and might benefit from alternative breakfast choices. People with metabolic conditions, prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, or PCOS. Metabolic syndrome. Those trying to reverse fatty liver disease, weight loss, plateaus. People who've hit weight loss, plateaus despite healthy eating. Those practicing intermittent fasting. Individuals trying to maintain ketosis. Anyone tracking macros. For body composition goals, energy and mood issues. People experiencing energy crashes two to three hours after breakfast. Those with mood swings related to blood sugar fluctuations. Individuals with afternoon cravings or appetite dysregulation. Anyone experiencing brain fog in the morning. Athletes and active individuals. While athletes might tolerate carbohydrates better, even they can benefit from strategic timing. Consuming high-carb foods like oatmeal immediately post-workout rather than pre-workout often provides better performance and recovery benefits. The Hidden Hunger Connection Counterintuitively, oatmeal's blood sugar effects can actually increase hunger and cravings throughout the day, working against weight management goals. The Rebound Hunger Effect When blood sugar spikes from oatmeal consumption, insulin works to bring it back down. However, this process often overshoots, creating reactive hypoglycemia two to four hours later. 
This blood sugar drop triggers hunger hormones and cravings for more carbohydrates. Research from Harvard Medical School found that people eating high glycemic breakfasts consume 20 to 35% more calories throughout the day compared to those eating protein-rich, lower-carb alternatives. The oatmeal eaters reported feeling hungrier and had more intense cravings for sweet and starchy foods. The addiction-like response. The blood sugar roller coaster from high carb breakfasts can create neurochemical responses similar to addictive substances. The brain releases dopamine in response to glucose, creating reward pathways that drive continued craving for similar foods. This explains why people often report feeling addicted to their morning oatmeal and experiencing cravings when they try to change their breakfast routine. Preparation methods that make it worse. Even people choosing plain oats often sabotage their metabolic goals through preparation methods and additions that dramatically increase the food's glycemic impact. Common metabolic mistakes. Cooking methods. Longer cooking times break down fiber structures, increasing glycemic response. Added sweeteners. Honey, maple syrup, brown sugar, and dried fruits add concentrated sugars. Fruit combinations. Adding bananas. Dates or other high sugar fruits compounds carbohydrate load. Liquid choices. Using fruit juices instead of water or milk increases sugar content. Portion sizes. Eyeballing serving sizes often leads to two to three times recommended portions. The health halo trap. Because oatmeal is perceived as healthy, people often add multiple healthy ingredients without considering cumulative metabolic effects. Dried fruits, concentrated sugars, granola, often high in added sugars, Nut butters with added sugars. Multiple types of fresh fruits, sweetened plant milks. The result can be a 600 to 800 calorie bowl with 80 to 100 grams of carbohydrates, more than many people should consume in an entire day for optimal metabolic health. Signs, oatmeal might be affecting your metabolism. Many people don't realize their breakfast choice is impacting their metabolism because the effects can be subtle and delayed. Immediate signs, one to three hours after eating, energy crashes or feeling sleepy, increased hunger despite eating recently, cravings for sweet or starchy foods, mood changes or irritability, difficulty concentrating, daily pattern, signs, consistent afternoon, energy dips, evening cravings for carbohydrates, difficulty feeling satisfied by meals, needing snacks between meals, weight loss plateaus despite healthy eating, long-term metabolic indicators, gradual weight gain despite portion control, increasing, fasting glucose levels, higher HbA1c blood sugar average readings, developing insulin resistance markers, increased inflammation markers, better breakfast. Alternatives for people who discover oatmeal negatively affects their metabolism, numerous. Alternatives can provide better blood sugar stability and metabolic benefits. Protein-rich options, Greek yogurt with nuts and seeds, eggs prepared various ways, protein smoothies with low glycemic fruits, cottage cheese with vegetables, smoked salmon with avocado, low carb. Alternatives, chia seed puddings made with unsweetened. Almond milk, avocado toast on high fiber, low carb bread, vegetable omelets or frittatas, nuts and seeds with small amounts of berries, bulletproof coffee for intermittent fasters, modified oat preparations. For those who want to continue eating oats, occasionally, steel cut oats in very small portions, overnight oats with protein powder and minimal sweeteners, oats combined with significant protein sources, savory oat preparations with vegetables and eggs. The metabolic testing approach, rather than assuming oatmeal is universally good or bad, the most scientific approach involves individual metabolic testing. Continuous glucose monitoring. Using a continuous glucose monitor for one to two weeks can reveal your personal response to different breakfast options. This objective data eliminates guesswork and provides personalized insights. Simple home testing. Without expensive equipment, you can use a basic glucometer to test blood sugar. Fasting glucose upon waking 30 minutes after eating oatmeal, one hour after eating two hours after eating. Blood sugar remaining elevated above 120 milligrams per deciliter. For more than two hours, suggest the meal may be problematic for your metabolism. Subjective monitoring, track energy levels, hunger patterns, mood and cravings for several days with and without oatmeal to identify personal patterns. The context-dependent approach. The key insight isn't that oatmeal is universally harmful, but that its metabolic effects depend heavily on individual factors and preparation methods when oatmeal might be appropriate post-workout recovery meals. For people with high insulin sensitivity, when prepared plainly in small portions, combined with significant protein and fat, 
for individuals with high energy expenditure, when alternatives might be better, weight loss phases, managing insulin resistance, improving energy stability, reducing carb cravings, optimizing body composition, the industry influence factor. Understanding why oatmeal became so universally recommended requires examining industry influences on nutritional messaging. The grain industry promotion. The oat industry has invested heavily in research and marketing to promote health claims. While some research is legitimate, industry-funded studies often focus on benefits while minimizing potential drawbacks or individual variations. Oversimplified guidelines. Dietary guidelines tend to provide universal recommendations rather than individualized advice. The complexity of metabolic individuality doesn't translate well to simple public health messages, leading to oversimplified oatmeal is healthy narratives. Making an informed decision. The goal isn't to create fear around oatmeal, but to encourage more nuanced thinking about breakfast choices based on individual goals and metabolic responses. Key considerations, your current metabolic health status, weight management goals, energy and mood patterns, individual carbohydrate tolerance, lifestyle and activity levels, experimentation guidelines, try two to three weeks without oatmeal to assess changes, monitor energy, hunger, and mood patterns, test blood sugar response if possible, consider professional metabolic assessment, make decisions based on objective results, not marketing claims, the bigger picture. This discussion about oatmeal represents a larger principle in nutrition, the importance of individualized approaches over universal recommendations. What works for one person's metabolism might not work for another's. Your body provides feedback about how foods affect your energy, mood, hunger, and long-term health. Learning to interpret and respond to this feedback is more valuable than following generic dietary advice. The most metabolically healthy people aren't those following the perfect diet recommended by experts. They're those who have figured out what works for their unique physiology and lifestyle Listen to your body's responses. Track objective markers when possible. Make informed decisions based on your individual results rather than popular nutritional narratives. Your metabolism is unique and your breakfast should support your individual health goals rather than conform to oversimplified dietary guidelines.